Uh, hi, welcome to my roundup of my organelle patch called Grain Freeze. So uh, Grain Freeze is um, a granular engine, granular playback engine. And the main thing about this is the, the ability to manually scan across um, a waveform. Uh, I was inspired by the Tasty Chips GR1 and the Qubit Nebula, uh, two pieces of hard hardware that um, I've once owned, at one part of my uh, lifetime. Um, and I really liked the fact that you could uh, have the granular engine going and you could scan through the waveform and you could get some really nice kind of textures. So this is kind of my um, interpretation of that for the organelle. Um, with that in mind, then it's not a playable, uh, it's not a pitch playable uh, patch. So the keys don't allow you to play um, the granular uh, sound in different uh, intervals. Um, uh, it's more about um, allowing us to scan and change the parameters to get lots of different textures and stuff like that, uh, rather than be allowing us to change the pitch it is just one part uh granular engine um with a maximum i think of 16 uh, grains um so just to give you a bit of a roundup then um we have uh, two pages so we've got pink page which is page one and the teal blue which is page two um and the knob knobs give us control over every parameter uh, within those two pages um as it's not a kind of a pitch playback um uh, type device the bottom keys are actually um uh the buffers uh, so we have 14 um up to 14 different uh buffers that can be loaded uh samples that can be loaded into the internal buffers um and then by pressing the, the bottom row of keys you can choose which uh buffer is going to be put into the granular engine i mean you can load in your own samples if you go into the folder they're just name uh you just need to make sure they're named numerically so 0.wav 1.wav 2.wav 3.wav etc etc all the way across there and you can uh, um in real time change which buffer is uh, being granulated because of that then this top row here is pretty much redundant apart from this one here and this one just enables the granular process so if i press play now we can hear that granular stuttering sound uh cool okay so let's go through the parameters and then um, i'll give you uh, a demo of those parameters kind of working so the main one then is um on the first page we've got position and so that is across the wave file where is your start and position from your uh the, the seeds being generated from uh the second control is uh, spread and what spread is is kind of like a random distance from the position start where it can um choose uh choose each grain from and so you can get some quite nice textures because you're you're you're, you're increasing the range uh, uh, in size of where those if each grain can be chosen from which is quite nice uh, rate is in milliseconds so that's just how fast um, the grains are being uh, uh, played and then we've got duration which is the length so we can go quite long um, to quite short uh, page two then we have jitter so um, at the moment playback is uh, is linked to the the rate so we'll have very um, it's, a, it's a clocked seed and what jitter does is it gives us um, uh, allows I suppose it, it, it gives us um, an amount of uh, probability of uh, a seed not being generated so we can get some different kind of rhythms um, from from that from each grain rather than us being uh, very mechanically locked um are, are very statically locked i think that's probably a better word uh we've got pitch um and that's just a that's a rate um so around about one well one is obviously normal playback 
um, and then we go up to two um, and down to zero. Um, and then we've got uh, these last two buttons are then uh, the, gr uh, the reverb engine. Um, so I've got uh, a wet amount and a feedback amount that goes up to 99% and you can get some really nice uh, washes from that. Um, okay, so let me jump to the first page and turn the granular engine on. Uh, let's just change the rate. There we go. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, we can jump in real time. the buffers um the uh, granular process is stereo and the reverb is stereo as well um i've actually got two samples and a uh, that are in mono hence why they only come out of one side one channel um and this one as well as mono however like i've mentioned the reverb is stereo so that's why when it goes through the reverb engine, you can hear it through both sides. Um, I would obviously just advise you to use stereo samples uh, rather than monophonic samples. Um, rather than mono samples. Okay, mono channel samples. Um, okay, good. So let's just press play and then um, uh, start the granular process and then have a little bit of a uh, play with the parameters. So position. Here I can scan through the waveform. Quite nice. I can change the rate, make it quite fast. So I get that really nice kind of scanning, almost like time stretchy kind of feedback delay kind of going on, which is quite nice. And then I can change the duration so I can get very kind of stuttery sounds. So the spread then gives us a, adds adds a, a range to the position, so we can hear um, it kind of jumping around within that range each seed, rather than being played flat from exactly the same uh, position. We can add an amount of that there, which is good. Uh, over to the other page, I can add some jitter then. Here it kind of it slows the slows the the rate down because it's dropping. It's kind of a probability almost of, of it dropping um, a, a, a grain here and there or missing kind of a pulse, I suppose, to trigger it to trigger a grain. Um, I'll take that back down, and then we've got pitch as well. a little bit before but we've got quite a nice granular engine going on uh, the granular engine is quite good uh, let's go max it out because you can get some really nice washes um, and if you jump into another sound you can obviously wash from one sound to another Uh, cool. So um, 
I hope you enjoy it and have a bit of a play around with it. I don't think I'm quite finished with it. Um, I would like to add the feature of being able to record from the input. I think that would be really cool. And that was one of the things that I really enjoyed about um, the Qubit Nebula. Um, it was very easy to record into its internal buffer and then granular, granularize that. So that's probably something I'll look to add at some point. But um, I hope you have fun playing around with it. Um, it'll be on uh, uh, patch storage and you'll be able to uh, get that. I'll put a link um, under the comments so you can see that um, in the description so you can see that. Um, and if you want to, you know, comment on how you're using it, uh, please feel free to do so. Um, I'm, you can also find me on Instagram as well, uh, Tony James Morton. So you can, uh, yeah, find me on there and, and, and link me to some of the stuff that you are uh, creating with this. Cool. In the meantime, have fun um, and enjoy. <laughs>